Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream that I was traveling with hope. I was traveling with hope from the Servant Messenger channel. I heard the Lord say, You are my servant messenger. Hebrews 6.11 says, And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. In my dream we were leaving a log cabin at a camp, for this earth is our temporary dwelling place, and we are just passing through. I believe the camp in my dream was a Christian camp, and this is a dream applying to Christians. This world is not our home. I saw a man locking up the cabin, and I believe he represented Jesus Christ, who's in charge of this whole earth. And he was locking up the cabin as we were getting ready to leave on our journey home. The mountains we'd been in were pretty, but there were some marshes along the way and it was easy to get bogged down. And perhaps there were even floods because the water was clearly, clearly there. The mountains weren't the same as the mountains in my hometown of Pagosa Springs, which means healing waters. Micah 4.1 says, It will come about in the last days that the mountain of the house of the Lord will be established as the chief of the mountains. It will be raised above the hills and the peoples will stream to it. The mountain of the Lord's house shall be spiritually elevated above all else, visible and invisible, and it shall be established forever. In order to find our way home in my dream, we had to open our light blue app. Jesus is the way. He's our guide, our GPS, our glorious personal savior. And his word is our map. In my dream, the route home first went straight up. We read in 1 Thessalonians 4 that after the dead in Christ rise first, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. In my dream, I heard the words, You're going to ride prominently in the stars. A good meteor shower. <laughs> Isaiah 34 4 says, The heavens above will melt away and disappear like a rolled up scroll. The stars will fall from the sky like withered leaves from a grapevine or shriveled figs from a fig tree. In my dream after going up, the route also went east. Revelation 21 2 says, And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. In my dream, the trustworthy, godly man locking up the cabin below had followed me every step of the way to ensure my safety, even when traveling near a pair of twins, which in my dream I knew were from Hollywood and who were magicians, which led to this article and this word, deception. In my dream, the twins were mocking runners. Hebrews 6.19 says, We have this hope, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul that enters the inner shrine behind the curtain where Jesus, our forerunner, on our behalf has entered. And I know that verse usually applies to um, an anchor like of a ship. And we have that anchor in Jesus Christ in the heavens who's gone before us. But I also like to think of the anchor leg of the race, the strongest, most experienced competitor in the race. Jesus is our anchor and our forerunner. And he's gone in and preceded us on our behalf as our great high priest, the shed blood of Jesus covers all our sins. Praise the Lord. So in my dream, the twins were mocking the runners. And as we know, Jesus is our forerunner. And he says we'll share in his sufferings. And in my dream, I opened a conversation with the twins. And I broke the ice and added some humor by saying, So, how long have you been twins? <laughs> they looked at each other and I said, Good way to try to find out your age, huh? 
Well, Hope and I began sharing the gospel, the good news, with the twins, and they were not interested. I began bawling, crying loudly, crying out, no matter what we say, no matter how many times we say it, no matter how we say it, you will never have believing faith. On my journey home, I auditioned for a role to model a company's t-shirts. One model was disqualified for the role because she covered up part of the shirt that was important to the company. When I started auditioning, I was shy and trying to be sweet and cute, but I heard a voice behind me saying, you've got to strongly represent the brand. So I looked in the mirror and I saw what the t-shirt said. And I knew I had to be strong in representing the brand. I started shadow boxing and shadow kicking around the room. In my dream, when all the watchmen and watchwomen reached home on the mountain, it was like Christmas. I received my Christmas comforter with joy. Christ had come and the Holy Spirit, the comforter, was fully present. It was like when a noble baby was born, whose mother's name was Mary. I saw my mother and father, though, and I also saw someone named Sarah. It was a time of great comfort for us all. Jesus, the King of Kings, the noble King of Kings, is coming again soon, and He will reign forever and ever. Praise the Lord. Amen.